Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Hairlag Letters eLearning. In last video, I have already shown you how to open and use different windows for different purposes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and edit organization breakdown structure, say OBS and how to use OBS in Primavera scheduling. Here I'm going to introduce you the role of OBS in Primavera scheduling and how to use OBS in Primavera scheduling. Ideally, before we establish enterprise project structure, and the project under EPS, we should create OBS first. OBS represent the management responsible for EPS where the project to be placed in Primavera. And the project to be created in the EPS this is the EPS to show the responsible person from the OBS. And this is the project, the responsible manager from the OBS. Using organization breakdown structure in conjunction with the EPS project, WBS, to ensure that each project, each WBS, is effectively managed. Setting up the OBS first enable associate of the responsible person to EPS project, WBS. Once the OBS established, the EPS can be set up and project can be created. The organizational breakdown structure, OBS, is a hierarchical arrangement of the project management structure. User access and the privilege within the enterprise project structure are implemented via responsible manager defined in an organization-wide OBS hierarchy. Regarding user access and the privilege via responsible manager, I will state it in another video. An OBS is not the same as resource pool. While resources are assigned to activities, OBS element corresponding to an EPS node is the project director, who is responsible for multiple projects. An OBS element corresponding to project note is the project manager. In this way, an OBS supports large projects that involve several sub-projects with a different area or disciplines. The OBS usually reflects the management structure of your organization. From top level personal down through the various level constituting your business. When you create EPS in EPS window and project in project window, you should designate the responsible person from created OBS to create a responsibility relation 
between EPS and OBS and create the relation between project and OBS. Let me show you. Click the enterprise. Click the enterprise project structure. And if you want to add new enterprise, here you need to write in the responsible manager for this enterprise. Come to the project. This is the project is open. How to view the OBS chart display? You can view an OBS in two ways. Use the chart view and use a table view. Let's use the chart view to look at OBS. Click display and click table view. So this is the table view. And you also can see the chart view. Click the display. Click the chart view. So this is the chart view. If you want to see the OBS, I advise you to view OBS table. You can have a bird eye view of the OBS structure. It will be more easy to see the OBS structure overall. If you want to modify the OBS, I advise you to use the OBS chart. It will help you to modify OBS more effectively, including not only OBS name, but also OBS description and responsibility alignment. How to create, edit OBS and delete OBS element. Click display, click filter by, click all OBS elements. The all the elements have already shown here. Click selected element, OBS element. Click add. Then write in project manager. John Smith. Then use the shift right arrow click. So hierarchy form is established. Means it is under the E and C director. Oh, you can also write the OBS description. Click modify. Then you can write something, then close. After you align the OBS, EPS, project, and the WBS, you can view a responsibility list through OBS. Click Enterprise, click OBS. Then you can, in the lower pane, click responsibility. Then you can see here, here in the left column, it is the project ID WBS code. And the right column is the project name and the WBS name. Then how to edit OBS elements? You can edit an OBS in several ways. You can change an existing OBS elements, position, and information. 
you can add an OBS element and you can delete an OBS element. If you want to add it, an OBS element, click the OBS name to find out this symbol. So this symbol is to tell you is the hierarchy structure now. So on the hierarchy structure, then you can start edit. Click the general, then you can edit the OBS name and also OBS description for this for this element. And he will tell you for this person have already assigned in this WBS project and EPS. And this WBS and tell you this WBS and name. And this is the EPS, he tell you the EPS name. So it's very clear this person in charge what kind of the the project WBS. Then how to delete an OBS element. If you want to delete the OBS element, first of all you need to click the OBS element you want to delete. For example, I select the project manager John Smith. Then click Delete, then he will tell you, are you sure you want to delete this section? So if I want to delete this one, you have already see there is so many projects in the WBS, this OBS element have already assigned. Click, then here have already tell you, you cannot delete the selected OBS because it is already assigned to WBS. But you can merge this assignment onto the parent OBS. So those kind of the message will come out. How to copy an OBS element? Select OBS element you want to copy I select the project manager John Smith. Then click copy and select project DEV. Then click paste. So means this project manager also is under Pro DV. He in charge of another project. How to cut and pass an OBS element. And now this project has already complete. So I want to move this John Smith to the another EPS, say energy. So click cut and click energy. Then click pass. So he also moved to the another director in charge of the energy to take care of another project. How to change the OPS chart display? So this is the table chart. I want to change to the chart view. Click the display, click the chart view. Now it is the chart view. So first of all, I want to change the font and the color. Click the display and click the chart font and color. And to change the display background color, 
click back color then select the new color you want so I select the green click apply then to change the display OBS box color click box color then select a new color so I select this one the blue one click OK then click apply you see it changed then I want to change the font click the font and click the select the font style and click OK so it's changed how to expand and collapse in the OBS chart view click the display then come to the bottom there is a collapse all click then click the display click the expand all so it's expand all the details of the of OBS how to assign the OBS to enterprise project issue WBS assign the responsibility from OBS to ETS I have been introduced you just now assign the OBS element to project also I have been introduced assign the OBS element to WBS element let me show you click the window of the WBS so this is the window WBS click just one of the WBS so here click the general then here we can see the responsible manager so click then we can see the OBS dialog is coming up you can select one person from the OBS so you cannot assign the responsible person in activity window here showing the manager is the WBS is the manager assigned the WBS so this activity is belong to that WBS assign the responsibility from the OBS to an issue so this is the issue then we can put the responsibility person here this is the end of this tutorial I hope you like it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also, please visit my other tutorial regarding Primavera P6 scheduling. See you next time.